This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Launch number one. Launch number two. Launch number three. Launch number four. Break number one. Break number two. Break number three. Break number four. All right, we're back now. Let's take a look at the result in the Google Sheet. So here, um, to my big surprise, if you look at this one versus this one, you see that uh, this is the last test. It was with the Minerva uh, radial F205 tires. Um, uh, this is summer tire, whereas the Silun Ice Ace uh, Blazer is winter tire. But uh, for some reason, the winter tire performed better. <laughs> I have no idea why. I did all the preparations. The battery is nice and hot and everything. The charge is almost full. Uh, but I think we can conclude uh, by these tests that uh, this is most likely not the, um, the unicorn. It has the, the less powerful but more efficient motor. So 6.1 second uh, CO200 is by specification and we get uh, slightly slower. Um, yeah. Uh, and you saw there was no wheel spin this time. There was no uh, uh, snow mode or li uh, limiting the power. So yeah, this is uh, it. Wait, wait, you know, huh? let me see. I did measure the, the exact power last time huh interesting so last time i measured 282 uh, horsepower or maybe you should start using kilowatt uh, as the power unit instead and this time we even have more power output but still it was slower so yeah anyway and then over to the next test uh here we had the braking test so the Minerva tire, I guess this boils down to tire, but also a vehicle weight. But you see that um, at least with the Minerva, Minerva tires, uh, we get a very good braking distance versus the ESO, which weighs exactly the same. So suddenly um, we see how important uh, tires become, right? But then uh, maybe we should try ESO. Or eventually I will gather more data and we will uh, use more and more summer tires but also i want to try with wet tarmac to see how they really perform then uh, but uh, yeah um, i guess for now many people don't understand the purpose of this braking test but i just start co collecting data and then eventually we will have so much data that we can start seeing a trend or we see how it goes uh, yeah but of course i also expect that uh, the the sr plus which is lighter than the other teslas will break better and they do break uh, better than at least wind run and then even the Hancock tire. I don't know what the heck happened with the Hancock tire. Okay, it has slightly downhill, but that shouldn't affect it too much, right? So maybe the Hancock tires are not that great versus some of the other tires. But the, also we see also a kind of trend here that it seems like the Michelin Pilot Sport tires are really good. The, especially, well, what the heck happened here? The Michelin Pilot Sport 4. Yeah, this is the best result ever, 36 meters. Okay, okay, slope is slightly up, but yeah. 
But okay, and then the last one I'm gonna check out is noise. So here we have the noise level. Um, doesn't seem to be the most quiet one, but I keep mentioning this that my concern with the test scratch nowadays is that it's getting rougher and rougher and then noisier and noisier. But uh, still, even today when I test quiet cars, they still get uh, good results versus this one. So Model 3 is not known to be that quiet. So it's uh, somewhat noisy, you see, on actually on the same level as Lexus pretty much. Uh, or the P. Yeah, I remember also the Peugeot 208 was also quite noisy, but that one had 17 inch wheels. But yeah, okay. So, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say about this one. But now you guys have seen it um, the noise test, braking test, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, again, like I said, uh, mm -hmm. I need to test some wet stuff, but I just don't feel like braking in the wet now in, in the mid of the day. I want to wait until maybe evening, but then the rain stops. So, but I will start gathering wet braking test also. But again, that would be, then it boils down to uh, how good the tires are, right? Yes, why not? We're gonna also test tires. We only, non, we don't only test cars, but I still believe that some cars, they have better braking performance than uh, other cars, simply because, uh, I don't know, fatter tires and better brakes, maybe. So, yes, anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.